Hello summoners and summonettes, it's Gordon here, and today I'm bringing you a Zed mid game. So as always, let's go ahead and get right on into it. Picking up the Longsword 3 with the Warning Totem. Hi, I'm Gordon, good luck, have fun. And it's going to be pretty annoying for me to actually play in this game here, just because they have a Kale who I'm against. I believe it's Kale, I don't think it's Jace mid. But Kale's a pretty good counter to Zed because obviously her intervention pretty much can negate all of my death marks damage. So definitely, hopefully, gonna try and take an early lead in the lane. Maybe get a first blood on her and try to snowball the lane from there. Because what? <laughs> I hope she does that again because then I'll flash the wall and try and kill her. Actually, she might be backing right there in the bush. I'm gonna go face check it because why not? That'd be kind of hilarious if I was just given a kill. <laughs> Alright, I think she left. So I'm probably going to end up starting Shuriken for level 1. And then level 2 I'll probably end up going with my Shadow. Just because I feel you really need to have that escape early on. Especially because they have a jungler as Kha'Zix who could potentially have his gap closer with his leap. And I definitely don't want to get forced out of lane too early here. So definitely going to opt for that Shadow there. And I might try and do some crazy, say, level 2 cheese, and just really try and force out of the lane. And she did show that she started Doran's Ring, instead of... Sometimes Kale goes with the Crystalline Flask, so she definitely doesn't have as much sustain as she could. And right away she starts off with her E, hits me one time, and does quite a bit of damage to me. So I'll just wait for her E to wear off here, and then I'll go up to the wave here and trying to do some trades with her but she's gonna have it back up very soon here as well so just gotta try and keep up with the pressure she is but she definitely shoved way faster than I did just because she has that buff with her E there damn tower 8 2CS there I didn't think that actually reached the tower so that's kind of omega unfortunate for me and level 2 comes off the second creep so there it is picking that up and just keeping at the CS here Gonna try and throw some harass down onto her with my shadow Q here. That wasn't too bad, but I ended up eating a lot of damage from her combo as well. I hit her with both shurikens there, so she did take a decent amount of damage. I definitely want to try and avoid all the potential free auto attacks that she can get with her range bonus on me. And that was a nice shuriken, I hit the creep that I wanted to hit, and I clipped her in the end as well. So she comes out at me with a Q, definitely not going to let her get any extra damage with her active, or the amplified damage on the Q rather. I do see Kha'Zix off in the flank, he did just get around here, and unfortunately I didn't have my shadow up yet, so his gank, all it results is just damage and some pressure on the lane for me. So I thank you for that, but unfortunately I wasn't able to... Uh, convert on it. Gonna go ahead and go pretty aggressive here on her and probably, okay, I got the flash. Oh, nice! He clipped her with his W there. Good job out of the Kha'Zix. So that results in first blood for the Kha'Zix. I see their Kha'Zix coming at me. I'll be able to just back off without a problem here. And we might even go a little aggressive onto him here. I have flash available. We get him locked down. Nice. Force him to hop out, so... That'll let us just shove the wave peacefully here, and I'll be able to go back now, so not bad at all. So, I have 930 to my name, and I'm actually going to try and pick up Brutalizer first, just to be really mean to the scale in the lane. So, I'm going to go with Vamp Scepter, and then some potions and a ward. And then before I end up going Blade of the Rune King, I'm going to get that Brutalizer, because I think... There's a really long point in the early game where while you're building daggers for the Blade of the Rune King, it doesn't really help Zed at all because he really doesn't utilize the attack speed too often and it kind of makes for a really weak early game. So definitely want to uh, get some pressure with the Brutalizer there. Alright, I was lucky to be able to get that cannon minion there with uh, my E. And now that I do have the Vamp Scepter, I feel comfortable making some trades with this Kale because now I have some decent sustain as well. Alright, so maxing my Razor Shuriken first here. Probably going to go aggressive on her fairly shortly when that 
E wears off from hers, but ends up she will just go back off and try and ward, I do think is what she's going there. I'll toss out a ward as well. And alright, so she just used her E. I'm going to pop a health potion, try and stay healthy. As soon as that goes down, I'm going to try and go in and aggress onto her. So right about now. And I did so knowing she didn't have anything up and available to her. And now it just comes back up, but not a bad trade for me. Have Kha'Zix in the flank again, but I can't converge on it. I'm going to flash out and just bait her in and should be able to... What the hell? Is that serious? I'm dead, but... Lol, energy, OP. That was awkward. I shouldn't have shadowed there. I should have just hit her with a Q. <laughs> there was like no reason for me to die. Whatever. I suck. Energy OP. But yeah, not bad. That probably was a free kill, but I ended up trying to bait it too hard, and I had to burn my flash for no reason, so... Definitely could have been smoother there. I just realized we have a Shaco support, so I wonder how that's going for them. Ooh, a little aggression going in. Are they going to get it is the question. Oh my god, all the heals coming out. That's real. Oh, I missed that creep there. So both of us hit level 6, so Kale pretty much has the advantage here. My ignite's up fairly soon, and I know she doesn't have ignite because she just used it on that kill on me, so at least I have that over her. Mia, 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 Mia. Gonna ping them Mia, so I'm pretty sure Kale was trying to roam there. And definitely don't want her to pick up a free kill for roaming down to that bot lane and cleaning it up, because that'd be pretty bad. So now comes the time in the game where I can actually start taking side jungle camps such as race Zed excels at taking the side camps and hopefully I can make use of that and grow a lead on this Kale here nice that was a really good uh, cue out of me I hit her with both of them and I'm gonna take quite a bit of damage though damn dude Kale does so well against it it's not even funny all right I'll be able to get all the CS Hopefully without missing it here. Yep, just gonna toss a Q into it and evaporate the wave. And as the next wave comes, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the wraiths here because I know Kale will probably just end up shoving that wave, so I'll just wait for it to hit the tower, but ends up looking like she didn't shove it. She was actually clearing her blue, that Kha'Zix stole, I do believe. No, he didn't end up getting it. Or did he? No, he didn't get it. <laughs> So she ends up taking blue, I think, and that's a little scary for me, because she's going to have a lot of sustain with that. Oh, where the heck is their blue? Who has their blue? I'm kind of lost. Oh, well. So yeah, I'm pretty much not going to try an all-in-air here, just because she pretty much beats me at this point, just because of her, her dang intervention. And just trying to keep some harass down on her, but again, she has a heal, probably won't be able to match her sustain in lane here. If she does go back, I'm just going to shove the lane right away, but I'll be a meanie and stop her back there. <laughs> Alright, so she healed. And this is a siege wave, so definitely want to get all that this wave has to offer. And then after that, I'll go and do my wraiths here. So actually going aggressive onto her here. Going to force her to pop her alt here probably. Not bad, not bad. I want to try and force her off this wave here because it is a siege wave and I want her to miss some of the wave here. Alt for alt, it's definitely not too bad. There goes the siege minion. I did just see Kha'Zix ward so I know he's in the area and I know he's level 6 so they're probably gonna try and bait me into a bad fight here. Yeah, that's just too obvious, man. So I saw the ward animation go off in that side bush so that gave me the edge that I needed there and oh man, I almost killed myself there. But I almost got a kill as well. If I had landed anything on her, I would have tried to, uh... What? Is she serious? Uh, are you really gonna back right there in front of me? <laughs> Alright, I didn't have to burn my ignite either, so... I'm okay with that, but... That was just greedy, what the heck? I honestly thought she'd be backing, like, way over there, and then I saw her, I was like... Is this real life? Like, is she disrespecting me, man? 
All right, gonna go over and do the race before I back here and just try and get some extra gold on me. And that kill really helped me out. I'm not gonna shove the wave. It'll just be even in the lane. Oh, it's a siege wave though. I lied, I lied, I lied, I lied. Nice, they traded one for one. Unfortunately, our support got the kill and the ADC did not get it, but not too bad. Gonna toss my shadow out in the wave here and help clear the wave with the extra uh, damage from the shadow there. Kha'Zix is top, Kale's in the mid lane. What's Kale going for? Nash's Tooth first. All right, not a big deal. I'm going back, picking up that Brutalizer that I was talking about. And then we will pick up the Bilge Water and then Boots as well as a Dagger and some more Health Potions. So it's looking really good for us now. We have quite a bit of core components on Zed here. She might get some damage on the tower. Nope, she ends up backing off. So I have 95 farm at 11. That's not too bad for having a pretty weird early game. And now I'm just kind of now going on a farming spree. So that's really good for me. And we'll just go ahead and clear this next wave and then continue doing rates because one thing that's kind of lucky about with Kha'Zix is since he's kind of a gank oriented heavy jungler I can afford to take his rates and he won't lose too much from it but say if it was Nocturne or Warwick who really farms the jungle a lot it could be pretty hindering for the jungle here but again he's bot lane no one else would clear it so I'm gonna make use of it because it is free right now gonna ping Mia on the mid lane just so my team knows Gotta get some vision control going in the mid lane here, so can definitely see Kale in case she does roam. Oh, I thought I had my shadow up. <laughs> I was gonna try and aggress onto her there, but do not have my shadow. All right, as soon as that E goes down, I'm going in for some harass on her here. All right, we can go now. Oh, I got baited. All right, I have to alt just to try and dodge some damage here, and then I'll flash out. Wow, they're gonna die me there. All right. Ah, Kale, no flash. That was unfortunate. That was a good bait, but uh, couldn't escape. Tried to go back to my ult and maybe make a juke, but they both flashed under the tower to kill me there, so... Kind of sucks, but if they use two flashes to kill me, I'm okay with it. And now Kale's pretty vulnerable. No ult. That should be a cleanup kill for Soraka. Ooh, never mind. She isolated herself. Oh my god, she killed herself. That's really awkward and <laughs> I don't have any words for that so Kale just got another kill all right mid might be in trouble that sucks that she was just donated that kill the Cossex is kind of just sitting in her lane which sucks because I guess she knows she needs a babysitter so that's just how this game's going I guess I'll stop trying to kill her here and just farm my way to victory in this game which sucks for me but what can you do if their rates are up, I might try and take them here. This is really risky, but I'm going to drop the deep ward in just while I'm doing the race here. And just really trying to get myself back into this game with some farm here. Alright, what does she got? She built another Dorn's Ring? That's pretty weird. Alright, just farming out the wave. Not going to use my shadow because I definitely want it when I do come and engage onto the Kale like so. And I just took a shitload of damage and killed myself. Holy crap. Maybe I should not have done that. Oh well, we're going to get a kill at least, but I should have just waited for Kha'Zix, I guess. I didn't think I'd... Fuck, dude. That pissed me off. I suck. Alright, I have all the components for my Blade of the Rune King now, and... Unfortunately, still don't have it, which sucks. Did I have my alt up there? I wonder if I ulted, because I probably would have been able to get away if I had alt. Whatever, pretty shitty play, but at least we did trade the kill, and we got two assists on it, because Soraka actually ulted as well. Kha'Zix is behind you. Yo, I'm coming for that red boy. Oh, Soraka could make the play right now to actually roam down. And uh, actually contest this red. Oh, that was a really early smite. Unfortunately, couldn't get in there to steal it in time. What is he waiting for? No man, he's just clearing the warden. What is she building now? Alright, she went Berserker Greaves, so... Wow, I missed all my shuriken. What are you gonna do, Kale? Alright. What are you doing? Holy shit, man. 
Alright, so Braum roamed to the mid lane here, and Kale actually ulted a really late there. Holy shit, that combo is so broken! Attack speed Kale and Braum. Oh, that was actually a sick, nasty combo. Oh, what? Oh, what? He's dead. He's gonna Q him. Oh! The Jukes! Holy shit, that was good. But damn, that lockdown. I did not expect their support to roam. That sucked. Yo, take bot tower. Their support's mid. <laughs> you killed their AD and your support's still mid. You should take the tower for free. Alright, they'll get that. I have Blade of the Rune King now, so that's a little nice. Gonna buy a vision ward. Try and deny some vision here. Did he almost take my tower? Jesus. Alright, Kale's massive at 5 kills, so I'm just probably going to split push this game and try and be a nuisance that way, because I really kind of got counterpicked here. Braum does excellent against Zed as well, where Zed comes in and then he just locks him down with his passive like you just saw there, so I really just can't do anything against their team, so I'm definitely just going to have to try and be a split push nuisance, and I hate it, because that's a boring playstyle for me on Zed, but... Probably what I'm going to have to opt for this game is Dragon up. They're on Dragon. Alright, I don't think we can contest, which sucks. So I'm just going to shove mid and try and create some pressure here while they are at that Drake. And I might even answer with my own tower here. So that could be beneficial if they choose to trade a tower for Drake. Which I might be able to get. So going to save up enough energy for me to make an escape here. If need be, and Kayla is freaking flying over the wall here. Gonna go ahead and W over the wall to my safety. And lucky for me, be able to get out there. Got a decent amount of damage on the tower too. I'm gonna try and maybe make a move for top here. Place my vision ward down so they don't know I'm here. Sorak is going back. I think Chase might show up soon. Whoa, the Sorak alt. I think she used that just to get an assist because he's pretty healthy still. Alright, Jace boy, where are you? I'm going to do golems while I wait for Jace to come to lane and hopefully just assassinate him when he does show himself here. Alright, Jace, what do you have? You don't really have too much, so I think I can get in and assassinate him here, hopefully. I'm going to try and run at him and pop my ult and so I can save my shadow and utilize that in case he does try and make an escape here. Alright, so I'm going to go in and pop all my damage right away on him, see if we can get him. Nope, we'll just get out. Got some decent damage onto him, but uh, didn't have my ignite up. If I had my ignite up, I'm pretty sure that was a 10 out of 10 kill right there. Kha'Zix is bot too, so I'll be able to just keep the pressure up on the Zed in the top lane here. Wow, I didn't get that CS. Popping a potion, and might be able to tower dive him with the Soraka here. Oh, is she going in the flank? Is she going in the flank? She is indeed. I'm just going to go ahead and hit him with all the damage I got there. Soraka going in for the dive. The wave wasn't there, though. That was a throw. Lucky I was able to pick up the kill. Soraka went in too early there. She should have just waited for the wave to get there. There was nowhere that or Jace could have gone because we had him surrounded, and there was almost no wave for him. So definitely a little too premature by the Soraka there. But at least I'll be able to take the tower here. That's... A benefit of getting the kill there. So, a kill in a tower, not too bad. Kha'Zix is here. Uh, don't have bladed up. I have my alt up soon, but he also has his jump, so I probably wouldn't be able to lock him down at all. I'm just going to buy components of the Last Whisper, and then I'm going to buy the Health Crystal of Black Cleaver as well. I want to get some more effective HP on me, because I'm pretty weak as far as uh, just straight up trading with people instead of all inning. I can't really trade too well. Soraka is in the bot lane. I don't think they'll be able to get a kill because Unbreakable comes out of the uh, Braum there. Both Twitches exchanged their ultimates. We need to be careful here. Alright, so we get Braum. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, okay, okay. I'm thinking Kale and Kha'Zix are here. Yeah, there's Kale. And I think, yeah, Soraka overstepped again. Wow, the cleanup crew is real. Alright, so Kale should die here, hopefully. I got my ignite on her. Nice! Got that kill. And actually, gonna hop over the wall. Alright, so we picked him up. No, my Kha'Zix went down. I don't have energy. 
No energy again. Shoot me. Oh, I hate that, man. That's like the worst thing when you just run out of energy. What? Oh my god, I think he got him. Oh, the exhaust. Oh, the box doesn't connect there. Oh, that's awkward. Oh, he's got him. He got him. Nice. Lol, he died though. Holy crap, that Shaco does zero damage. What is that build? <laughs> Whatever. Alright. I don't have just enough for my last whisper. I don't think I can wait on it. That's kind of a while to wait for that, so I'm just gonna go clear out mid lane probably and then I'll back and pick up that last whisper. And then back to split pushing for me here. 17 to 17 is the score. That sucks that I used my flash and didn't get that kill on Kha'Zix too, so now I'm pretty immobile. And I definitely have to be careful when I split push here. Hopefully I can get enough money for a ward as well. I think I'll have enough. Yeah, I should have enough. Okay, so we do have the flank on them here. I'm gonna go straight in onto the Kale here, pop everything on her. She does pop intervention on herself. Nice uh, Fisher out of the Brom there. She's just going to town on our team, but I sniper with the Q there, luckily. And she's going for pretty much attack speed only, Kale. Yo, you're running right into the Kha'Zix. Ah, okay, we got him. Nice, 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 nice. Very nice. So I'm going to buy two wards now, and I'm going to go do my split push Haruni in the bot lane here. Try and be as far away as some objectives on the map, such as Baron, while the rest of the team nicely grouped up as four, taking the mid lane turret there, and probably a second, because two are dead. Jace was seen top and Twitch was bottom. Still is bottom. And I'm just gonna match the pressure. I don't have my alt, so I can't all in him right now. Which sucks, but I'm just gonna holy cow chunk him down there to half with a combo there. Are you gonna aggress onto me, boy? Don't do it. Don't do it. Alright, he might be taking my red. Oh my god, he actually did do it. I'll just be able to walk away from this, so okay, there goes Twitch burst. And lucky for me, I did have my shadow just come up, but that was kind of unexpected by the Twitch. I didn't really think he'd do it, because I just simply <laughs> walk away from it. I'm like, oh. And again, like, is this guy real? And then I killed myself, but I wanted a piece of the pie. Ward. Oh, what the heck? Where's the team? Wow, we just gave them a free tower because we're doing red. That kind of sucks. That was just... That's getting out rotated, I guess, there. That was kind of a misplay, in my opinion. I don't know how that happened. Oh, they blew everything on Shaco Clan. That's glorious. What are you. Are you AFK? Go in, kill some stuff. Damn, that's awkward. We had, like, the perfect trap set up for them, and we didn't do anything. Alright, they're getting dragon for free now. So that kind of sucks. Oh my god, my cat is going crazy. Don't meow at me. Don't meow at me. Alright, I gotta get my wards down bot lane if I do want to split push this because I definitely want to have vision to see if that would happen to me if I ever did split push. Wow, that connected. He's gonna die. Sorry, friend, but I can't do anything to you. We should fight this, actually. Twitch, you need to go in, homie. Alright, I'm probably gonna die here. Actually, maybe not. Yeah, I'm dead here. Oh, yo, go in sooner. Lucky we got the cleanup, but just make a play, man. They were, like, isolated in our jungle, and nobody was doing anything. How many did we get? Four. We can probably do Baron, honestly. Twitch has Blade of the Rune King, and that'll shred Baron. And you have Soraka sustained, but Kha'Zix is too low, so I guess we can't do it right now. I have enough for Black Cleaver, so I did pick that up. And I'm just gonna buy another vision ward here actually and still I have yet to go bot lane and split push because we just keep fighting 24-7. So hopefully I can get these wards out and do what I have intended to do the past five minutes, but keep getting stalled. Alright, there's a big wave for me to get as well, so that'll be pretty nice for me. And after I get that, I know Dragon's not up, so probably not too many people are gonna be in this bot lane. So I think I'm okay to try and get my wards out here. You're dead. Not sure why our support tried to 1v1 their ADC when he's got no damage on him. Alright, so I see two, three in the top lane here. And I'm thinking 
that tells me I'm good to go as far as split push. I see almost all of their team here, actually. So I'm definitely thinking I can split without care here. Kale does come to answer me. I think I have to... Did that Q not hit me? What? I'm just going to go in for the all-in right now and see if we can pop her. And I'll go back to my clone. Oh, got her. That's what we needed right there. So I don't think she expected me to actually go back to my ultimate shadow there and then flash back onto her. So I got pretty lucky there that I barely got the kill with my flash. But now that I did get the kill, it offers a ton of map pressure. And they're on Baron. Go ace them. I'm going to be able to get a tower here, but hopefully we can stop their Baron and really uh, make use of the pressure we just got. Nice. We get one. Might be able to get two. Probably going to get two there, actually. Maybe three? Twitch is here. I got to run away right away because I have nothing to fight him here. Nice triple kill coming out of the team there. And we might even just take Baron now, so that was really nice. Aw, he killed my pink ward. Rude. But I'm going to go back now, and I'm going to start building towards a GA here. I'm going to buy the Negatron Cloak first, because I'm thinking it's going to be the Kale who's coming to answer my split push a lot of the times. And then I'm going to buy an Elixir of Fortitude as well, to see if we can buff myself in the 1v1 situations here with that AD as well as HP. So I'm just going to go do my thing again, go back bot lane here. And while the rest of the team, you four go top. I'm going to try and, again, create pressure as far away as the rest of the team as possible. And try and draw one of their enemy team members, maybe even two, to come stop me here. So I definitely want them four to go to that uh, top lane there. I, I saw Kale on a ward. I'm thinking she's going to go to this bot lane here. If she does... Oh man, are we fighting without... Kale's not here, actually, so I'm going to shove this ASAP. Oh, what the heck. As soon as I do that, she comes. Thank God she didn't actually engage on me there, because I didn't have my shadow up. Can I kill her is the question of life and death. At least she's here and not with her team, so that definitely is the benefit of uh, the split push here. All right, so I'm going to alter her again right away, and then come back and pop blade of the rune king maybe we can take her there we go so that's all you have to do against the kale there is you engage pop her alt and then you go shadow away and then you click and activate your alt shadow again so you actually have a lot of mobility as zed if you manage your alt shadow very well there it allows you to go in and out of fights really easy and then i just went in popped the blade i didn't pop everything on the all in i kind of baited her thinking i was going to all in her Got the all out of her, and then uh, went back in for the cleanup. And now, because I played that so well, I think I'll be able to take a inhibitor turret here, because the rest of the team went even. Actually, they won a team fight. So, really, really good plays out of me, and lucky for me, that split push power did come in handy here. Kale, she does have home guards, so I actually have to leave right now, or else she could come and kill me, like so. Because I have nothing to my name right now, so... Definitely got the pressure, which let the rest of the team win the team fight, and then unfortunately we didn't get objectives yet, but we did just get kills, and that's obviously very beneficial. I don't think I, her ult's gonna be back up, and I don't really want to all in unless I have uh, my Blade of the Rune King on me. Can I clean this up? Is the question. I don't think I'll be able to get to him in time. What? All right, you're dead. Or he should be dead. I suck. He's not dead. Oh, he is dead. <laughs> I almost killed myself by going back to that shadow there. What? Brom flash for me. Brom no flash. So Twitch used heal, which made me have to pop alt, which was kind of annoying. But I still ended up picking up the kill. Kale's going to destroy that tower, though. No one went to stop her. But I have enough for my GA now, so that's really big. And going to be really, really hard to 1v1 me now. And I'll just go ahead and buy some wards now. Keep up the vision for my split push potential here. 878 is my score. I had a lot of dumb deaths early on in the game. So lucky for me, I'm able to pick up some of these kills 1v1 just by outplaying the opponents there. Team's got the flank arena on the enemy team there. Hopefully that can result in some kills for the team here. And then that'll make my life easier as a split pusher. Brom, yeah, you're dead. You got the whole team on your photo, so you're probably dead. 
All right, I have my ult up and flash very shortly, so I'm really confident in my ability to evade the opponent if need be, or just all in him. But like I said, Braum's killed, so the rest of the team's going straight mid. I'm going to pressure down bot lane, and we have a massive wave in the top lane. Oh, we caught out Jace, dude. That could probably be the game here, so definitely going to take one, possibly two inhibitors here. Are we just diving kill too? Very nice, very nice. That should be a kill on Kale. Kha'Zix's going in, however. I think I have to come in and help with the team, or else we might get cleaned up here. Kale, prepare thyself to get all in. Ah, you're dead. Rip. I have to get on Twitch. What? Did everyone die? Holy crap. Alright, Soraka's alive at least, but damn. <laughs> I was like, that's a one fight. Nope. Twitch shows up and cleans up. Alright, he actually... Ah, yeah, he's coming for me. I gotta make a juke arena here. Alright, I think I ju... No, I didn't. Damn it. Alright, I gotta flash the wall. We're gonna make some next level plays here. Some next level jukes here. Oh, I'm out. Woo! That was scary. I should be out. I should be out. He's chasing me with the shot glass. I'm scared. Oh god, it hit me. I'm definitely confirmed. Not out. Oh, he got the slow on him. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. Oh, he missed it. Kha'Zix is there, though. I see Kha'Zix. Ah, I'm dead. <laughs> I stalled him for so long, though. Hopefully... Nah, we didn't take anything out of that. That sucks. Holy crap. I was trying to make, like, the great escape, but they all respawned, so... That was pretty awkward. What do I want to go against this team? They have a bunch of slows. I might just go Boots 3 and try and negate some of those slows there. I think I'm going to do that. That's the call. Nice cleanup by the team there. Jace used everything to try and kill me there, so free pickup. Did he just... Nice exhaust. That Twitch is dead for doing that. The young suicide, though. That's probably a game. I got Kale. You all push. Kale's trying to do some split push stuff, but I'm up in 10 seconds, so I'll be able to stop her efforts there. I'm actually going to buy home guards just in case. And yeah, she had to back, or else she'd lose way too much of her base there. So nice job out of the team. And we could even maybe go top. I would like to just try and end the game, actually. Because 3 is still dead, and they have really good push potential. Are they gonna... No, they're not ending the game. They're getting killed. <laughs> That's exactly opposite of what I wanted them to do, but... Oh my god, they got 2v3, 2v4? Yeah, they just got 2v4. Holy crap. That's not good at all. Yeah, you cannot take him. Oh my god, please just get out. <laughs> what is going on? Alright, he got out, but lucky he got out. I'm gonna try and split push bot. I'm thinking I'm gonna get the next wave, and then I'm gonna act like I backed off, and then out of nowhere I'm just gonna go ham and go for the turret here. Alright, they're all counter pushing mid, trying to answer the super creeps. So I'm gonna try and get in here, get some wards going, see if I can see anybody on their team. Yep, they're going for mid still, so I'm thinking I'm good to just take the bot tower here. Yep, I should be able to get this. Jace is coming. Jace is backing. And Kale's probably here. Yep, there she is. So, at least she's not there. And that probably tells the team, hey, let's go. Kale's not here. And I'm going to come behind them, actually. So, I'll definitely be able to clean up. And uh, I will be there ahead of Kale because she's in the bot lane still. Holy crap. Just the Twitches are doing work, man. Yo, I'm here. I'm here, though. Go in on Twitch. Go in on Twitch. Go in on Twitch. Oh, come at me, Twitch. I dare you. No, I played it wrong. Wait, why didn't I ignite him? I would have killed him. What the fuck? I suck. I was just going to try and go in, do all my damage, and then shadow back out. But, uh, was not enough damage. You guys cannot... Lose 4v4. I'm taking like one of their most fed players out of the game. I don't know, man. 
I don't know. I don't have an answer for it right now. I wish I did, but I'm going to buy a giant spell and buy random ones, which sucks because I can't go for a lot of damage here. Oh, killer. Oh, didn't land slow. That will not be a kill. I'm just going to go back bot. Hopefully we can take Baron here with the team being up. And honestly, they should be winning these fights without the Kale in the fight because her intervention can be game changing in team fights and the fact that we have Shaco, Twitch, and Kha'Zix, we should be able to jump on anyone. Like their J should never live and their Twitch should just get jumped on right when he pops out of stealth, so a little hopeful in the team. <laughs> we've done it in the past. Like we've won oh that shadow. That was a misclick. Like we've won all the fights when I haven't been there, so I'm hoping they can make the play again. They're going on Jace. Uh, I don't think they'll be able to get onto him there. I have to hold on to my shadow here just because I don't really know who's coming at me or who has the potential to come at me. We should not fight this. Kale's there. Oh, that's a lost fight. Look at the... They chase... Wait, how's that not a lost fight? Nope, now they're starting to fall off. They chase that Jace really far. Right, it looks like we're going for the end while they do Baron. Oh, I like this call a lot. I like this call a lot. I'm gonna go over the wall here. We have three mid. Straka, you have to stop them. Just mess with them. Oh, we could end the game right here. I'm gonna... Nah, we got a diver. She doesn't have ult. Oh, she has a Zonia, so that sucks. Twitch is coming back. Oh, God. No, they're in him. Are you serious? Kha'Zix died? Damn, that sucks. Go on this guy. Kill him. You have to auto attack as an ADC. Alright, we got the inhib. Did they get Baron? Yeah, they got Baron. Damn. That sucks. Alright, inhib for Baron. Don't think that's worth at all, but... Oh, that troll inhib, though. I kind of want to go back on this guy, but I know Twitch is nearby, and he's definitely in the flank. Oh yeah, Twitch is nearby. Yep, there's Twitch. Alright, so we did get out, Lucky. I'm out. He can't catch me. I got boots three, baby. Alright. That was kind of scary. But, uh, Lucky, we got in and hit. I think we could have ended the game, but I'm not sure how Kale came up with a kill on Kha'Zix either. Oh, well, I'm just going to go back and buy a red potion, or a red pot, and... Try and get strong enough. This game, man, it just needs to end. It's so long. Yeah, I don't think they can 4v4 anymore because then we team as Baron, but I have everything up with Flash, so that's pretty good for me. Kha'Zix is in the bot lane. What do you have? Thorn Mail Randoins probably can't kill you at all, actually. But you never know. I'm going to try and sneak into this bush, maybe get a jump on him here. Ooh. Oh my god, Jace is down here too. Is he going to face check this? Alright, Jace, let's go. Alright, Jace. Alright, Jace. Oh my god, I almost got him. That was ridiculously close. Oh, that sucked. What? Brom's down here too? Oh, please. Oh, please. Am I out? I'm out, but our team died. Oh, I'm not out. Twitch is on my tail. Twitch is on my tail. No! I failed the shadow. Holy shit. Whatever. Jace isn't there. Twitch isn't there. Win, team. Win. Nope. Don't fight this. They're going to lose this. Oh, he's going to live? Oh, that was close. Damn, you do like... You should be shredding them. Shred their MR. Oh, Kha'Zix is oom. But Twitch is going to be there. Yo, Twitch is there. Calling it right now. God, their team is so tanky. I hate this as Zed. Like, it's impossible to kill anyone who has a gajillion health. Yeah, I think this is a throw. Their Twitch is so... Like, their Twitch has the biggest front line I've ever seen. Yeah, they're going to take one inhib here. Maybe even end the game. No, I don't think they can end the game, actually. Go on Twitch. Nope. Yeah, they can't get to him. It's just too hard. Oh, our Twitch is there, though. Holy shit. 
Oh, we're gonna win! Nice, they killed Twitch. Three down. End the game. And end the game. I think we can end with S3. It's 3v2. I have ult up. Alright, all we have to do is kill one of them and the game's over. Yo, end. Stop farming. Alright, we just need to push up mid in the next 30 seconds and end this game. Oh, it's gonna be close, baby. It's gonna be close. I feel, I think we can do it, though. I think we can do it. Oh, you're gonna get all in. Where's the kale to save you? Oh, where's the kale now? Where is kale? <laughs> That's actually a good question. No, 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 no. Don't tank. Don't tank. Don't throw. I just kill her. Just kill her. That's all you have to do. Intervention's down. Go back in. No. Just kill her. That's a kill. That's a kill. That's a kill. Holy shit. We can't end now. Damn, dude. She just 2v3. Oh, God. The pink ward. Oh, God. Oh, Blade of the Rune King. Don't isolate yourself. Nope. Isolated yourself. Oh, my God. This game is freaking... They chase this clan again. Nope, he's... Oh, no, he's not dead. What the hell? God damn, this game. This game sucks, dude. They're so fucking tanky. I have my randoms when I spawn, though, so that's kind of a plus, but still, I can't assassinate anyone on their team. And their Twitch has a QSS, too, so I can't even alt him, so... This is why Zed blows Donkey D right now in the meta, because... If you don't win the game by 20-25 minutes, you're probably going to lose because tanks are just retarded in this meta. Uh, we're going to lose another inhib, I think. At least inhib tower, but I don't know. We can defend the inhib, actually. Yeah, they can't get inhib. So I'm just going to answer the super minions that are built up here in the bot lane and just wipe them out real quick. And try and do my best to split push, but damn, I don't think I could solo anyone like I've been saying. This game is too hard, man. Life of an assassin. Nice, we got a pick. Can we turn that into an inhib? Maybe. Alright, I'll group up with the team now that we got a pick there. I'm coming, I'm coming. Alright, we. I just gotta go on Twitch and try and kill him. Even though he's gonna QSS, I just need to try and kill him with my raw damage, so... I'll definitely try and focus Twitch here, because he is their big player, even though Kill does shit of damage too. Why are we engaging without me? This is the throw of a century right here, guys. Let me tell you. Gonna go on to Kale. Holy crap, Kale's almost dead, but it doesn't matter. Why go so early? I don't understand. Twitch and myself weren't there. They're gonna end the game. Which and I weren't there. What the hell? Don't even bl shake us blaming people right now, but like, I can't defend. Yeah, that's game. GG. Shaco, you threw. Oh, I'm so sad. There's like zero reason to go in right there. We had 5v4 and Twitch and I were coming, but we weren't there yet. Oh, that's depressing, man. The throws, the throws, the throws, the throws. Oh, well. Can't win them all. And this game went just way too late, so... If you liked the video, go and throw it a like. I'll follow my other social media, such as Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, as well as Zoom Smash in the info box below. And as always, guys, I will see you all next time.